Seriously, mind? <laughs> okay, so you might have seen the poster or the ad on TV for this and thought to yourself, why do I want to watch another stupid car chase movie? Whoa, cars, explosions. Thanks, but I already saw Fast and Furious this year. Some of the more savvy cynics amongst you might be saying, Yay, a sequel. Haven't seen one of those in ages. If you pay close attention to the films I've been reviewing, you'll probably realise that not one of the films I've tackled so far is actually based on original material. So if all odds are stacked against this film exhibiting much in terms of originality, why did I come out of this film thinking, I haven't seen that before? Are you already saying that you liked it? Look, we did this routine last time, and I'm trying to make a point about originality, so shut up, okay? Oh, whatever. So yeah, originality. Truth be told, I can't hide the fact that I thoroughly enjoyed this film. But perhaps you're not too convinced about it. I guess it's my job to change your mind. Welcome to Mad Max Fury Road. The game-changing, full-blown action extravaganza from the demented mind of the director of Happy Feet. Experience a film of sheer intensity and insanity just barely hinted at in the title. The audience is immediately surrounded by a post-apocalyptic Australian outback. Tinted with a colour filter so fierce it leaves Instagram for dead. A corrupted society is run by a souped-up version of Bane from The Dark Knight Rises. With hair. He also sports an uncomfortable leather get-up and some freaky eyebrows. Our hero is played by the real Bane himself, Tom Hardy, except he also has hair. And once more, he's in top butt-kicking form. One character who doesn't have hair is Charlie Theron's Furiosa, and she steals the show. This is the strong female protagonist that action fans have been waiting for. If you're expecting another Fast and Furious, guess what? The women aren't sexual objects in this. Thanks, Mad Max 4. That's what we like to see. The Sheilas drive a lot of the action, and they all have important roles to play. As a sequel, all the necessary franchise iconography is there. You've got the uncompromising outback, the classic car, the leather jacket, and especially all the outrageous costumes, hairdos, and makeup. But these aspects aren't just played for nostalgia. They really help the audience immerse in this unique story. The plot itself is really quite straightforward, which is kind of ironic for a film that's so committed to being absolutely bonkers. But amidst all the insanity, you don't want to lose the audience along the way. Unnecessarily convoluted narratives are a common pitfall of Hollywood blockbusters these days. It's great to see a film presented with such confidence that it doesn't confuse the audience in order to believe it's actually good. Another common problem in Hollywood action-adventure movies these days is an over-reliance on computer-generated VFX. Director George Miller addresses this issue by actually planning choreographed stunt work and only using computers when absolutely necessary. It injects the film with the right amount of credibility in order to ground all the lunacy. On top of that, the film is visually stunning. And it's not just pretty images I'm talking about. The amount of sheer inventiveness on display is mind-boggling. All the action sequences have clearly been meticulously planned. But with all the craziness going on, it feels pretty natural and not overly staged. Warning! If you have kids, this is probably one to show them when they're a little bit older. I say that because there are a lot of really violent sequences and themes that aren't really suitable for the youngins. It's rated MA for a reason. I also say it because it's actually worth waiting a few years to watch. It's a bit of a classic in the making. You might think that I've talked this film up a bit too much. In any case, I'm confident that this film deserves the stamp of amazing experience. If you've seen the film already, what did you think? Please like and leave a comment in the comment section below.